is up guys it is joe here and i am bringing you my wwe stomping grounds 2019 initial reactions slash review um was it forgettable absolutely was it great not really um did anything major happen no and pff, should i have just not watched it and watched highlights in the morning most definitely um, this is, I never normally watch a WWE pay-per-view and regret it in the morning. Today I am, and I don't even have to be up early. I mean, it's half ten in the morning. I've woken up and I just, I'm just thinking, why? Why, why did I even waste my time? Um, there were, don't get me wrong, there were some good matches. I mean, I enjoyed the steel cage match. And I enjoyed the Ricochet match. The Heavy Machinery match was pretty cool as well. I didn't do reaction to it. I only did reactions to the main matches. Um, none of the titles changed hands other than the United States. Um, which is a good thing. And... Yeah. It's just... I've got nothing to say about it. It was just so forgettable. And nothing memorable happened. Like, you could literally skip this pay-per-view... And go to weekly television as if it never happened and nothing would have changed. Because they're not redoing storylines now. And that's the thing that got me the most is I've talked for weeks and weeks and weeks. And in different videos about how much I hate the Shane and Roman feud. So Michael Cole or whoever it was in commentary. When Roman like beats Drew. Turns around and goes he's finally overcome the odds. He's like the feud's finished now. Roman's done with Shane. I was so happy. I was like, yes, thank God. Now can we finally get that Roman Randy feud we were meant to get? Or just a good Roman feud? But no. Then we cut to backstage about an hour later. And Shane and Drew are challenging Roman to a two-on-one handicap match. Did you hear the boos? Oh my God, the fans shit on it. And with every right to. What else did they shit on? The Baron Corbin match? Um, I mean, the moment Lacey Evans was announced as the referee, it became extremely predictable, I guess you could say. By predictable, I don't mean the actual, like, result. I mean, what, like, like the moment Lacey was announced, it was so obvious Becky was going to come out. Um, I was sort of invested into it just because, you know, it was the main event. I tried my best to keep myself invested. Uh, but looking back at the match in hindsight now being awake, it's sort of just like, well, why was this the main event? Like, why? It's just, I just don't like it. And the thing that's even worse is the Extreme Rules card so far that's been announced by the arena, I believe, that is being held in, in Philly, is literally rematches again. We are going to have three straight pay-per-views of the exact same matches. Lacey Evans and Becky Lynch. Roman versus Shane and Drew. And Baron Corbin versus Seth Rollins. And quite frankly, I told you, I'm never going to be one of them guys that's like, AEW, I'm, I'm leaving. WWE suck. But in all honesty, WWE, what is going on? Like, why? Why are you booking the exact same matches? It makes me genuinely scared for SummerSlam. Because that's literally not this pay-per-view, the next one. We're not far off, and SummerSlam is arguably, like, the second or third biggest pay-per-view. I mean, I, I personally prefer the Rumble, but is what it is. It just wasn't great. I mean, I've seen people talking about how it wasn't as bad as they thought it was going to be, but how bad did you think it was going to be? Like, if you look at different pay-per-views from literally not far, like, not too long ago, you'll see that this just doesn't hold a candle to it. The crowd was just empty as well. I mean, I saw a photo on Instagram by, I think it was like either the un Unstable Nerd, That's Rude, He'll Turn, one of the big Instagram wrestling accounts. The hard camera, the, uh, the main camera angle you see when it's facing the ring, they literally put a wall up behind the hard camera because no one was in them seats. They were completely empty and they didn't want to show that on TV. It's like... Why do you think your seats are empty? Of course, like, I wouldn't go to this event. I just wouldn't because it would just be a waste of my money. Like, you know what I mean? Um, Stomping Grounds, I will give it a 4 out of 10 um, just because, you know, it wasn't too long. It didn't 
it, w it wasn't like an eight hour pay-per-view, which is always a good thing when they're shorter. Um, I liked the Ricochet match. I liked the Dolph match. I loved the way Kofi won the Dolph match. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, in the steel cage, like suicide diving himself out of the ring. That was pretty mad. Um, that was pretty mad. But other than that, three or four out of 10, I don't know. It wasn't great. And it makes me scared for the weekly television until Extreme Rules because realistically now, I just don't want to watch Raw tomorrow. I'm going to, obviously, but um, I just don't want to watch it because why would I? They've literally, normally when you do a pay-per-view for rematches, you finish the feuds. This is a pay-per-view for rematches to set up another pay-per-view for rematches. It's like, why? So we will see, um, hopefully something happens on Raw tomorrow. I'm quite excited to see what AJ Styles has to say to Ricochet. But, but other than that, this sucks right now. WWE just sucks right now. Never mind. See you in the next video.